What's up guys? This is TNT Barbecue with a Southern Explosive Taste. I'm out here. I'm cooking uh I got three nice, beautiful, whole chickens to cook today. And what I'm doing for these chickens, I'm doing a collaboration with your boy Rick over in the meat stall. So meat stall, what's up, buddy? What's up? I can't wait to see what you come up with. But this is what TNT is laying down for the collaboration. Look at these beautiful uh, young chickens I'm throwing down. So I'm going to keep this pretty simple, guys. Right here, I got a little SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic. And, I, and I, I, the kicker is I use some little paprika. Salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika. And also I added some cavities. So I'm going to go along and get this chicken seasoned. But first, uh, what I do is I got it cleaned up a little bit. So I'm going to finish cleaning this up. And basically, what I do is I try to take the fat that can pull off of my hand. Uh, and I just get it and I just try to... Um, like I say, take all the fat I can off of my hand, and if not, I just leave it like this right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and zone in and, have, and show you how I season these chickens. So, we're going to come through, because I'm going with the spray. So, I want y'all to um, go to the iCard, subscribe to Rick, tell Rick that TNT sent you, and, and that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to cook these chickens whole. Uh, I think Rick is spatchcocking his chicken, but you can look at his video. It's pretty awesome. Rick does a good job explaining and teaching how to do these barbecue um, techniques with this. I'm re actually using the Weber Smoky Mountain. So, um, the Weber Smoky Mountain is the grill we're using today. I'll be using whatever wood I got there to smoke with. But I'm cooking a little hot and fast, so that's what I'm doing. So, I'll probably be using oak. And we'll be doing hot and fast, so I like to rub it, get this all seasoned up, everything. I'm going to start off like that. And I'm going to go ahead and pull my gloves off. Keep one hand clean. One hand is uh, to turn the chicken with. And I'm going to go ahead and um, start seasoning. So, uh, you just want to make sure you get a good coat on this chicken. You don't want to over salt the chicken, but you don't want to under, under season it neither. Get in that cavity pretty good. And like I say, this is how I'm leaving the chicken up. I'm going to probably trust the chickens up so they can cook evenly. I'm going to put two on the top rack, one on the bottom rack. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I'm going pretty hot, pretty fast. Weeds. And I'm just going to light them on each side of this Weber Smoky Mountain. And I got, I got, I got some lump charcoal because, like I said, I want the thing to burn hot. And I, everybody know about lump. It be popping. <laughs> So, uh, I'm out here with my uncle. Say, what's up, unk? What's up? So, my uncle from Florida. What's up, guy? He out here with me, helping me barbecue for this year. Um, we're doing it big out here, guys. I'm telling you what, we got a lot of events coming up. But that's what we're looking like. So, I got, I got about eight pounds of lump charcoal in that thing. I ain't running no water, but I am going to keep the heat deflector in there. So, uh, when this thing get up... I'm running a good 340 degrees, so that's what we're doing. We're running the thing pretty hot, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these chickens, one right there, one right there. And one there. And I'm gonna try not to let them touch. So you can see the cover on those chickens. I hope you can add a little smoke flavor to this 
me, I got some uh, pecan pellets, a handful of those. And I'm going to go ahead and throw those down in that thing and get those pecan pellets going. That adds some smoke flavor to those uh, chickens. And like I say, I'm cooking hot and fast, baby. I, uh, that's what I'm rolling with right there. I'm rolling at 350 almost. I got that thing smoking. So that's what we're doing. So YouTube. Uh, it's been on for like 45 minutes to almost an hour, and I'm going to give things a good mopping, so I can really, with the Chevelles, I'm just mopping with the Chevelles just to, uh, it, tell you what, this is amazing. So, I'm going to let it go for another 15 minutes and this is going to be done. So, I'm going to shoot for the internal temperature about 170. Look at this color we got, guys. So, what I want to do, I want to bring you a little closer while I carve up these birds. And I have a pan here full of juice drippings I'm going to use to put the birds into when I get through carving them so they can stay moist. So, I'm going to bring you in closer. Let's get the carving. Oh, yeah. This is my power air fryer. So, you're going to be seeing some videos coming on that. So, uh, Rico at Meat Stall, like I said, guys, I'm going to leave this eye card up above at the beginning of the video and at the end. And I'm also going to put his video link of his collaboration of the Weber Smoky Mountain Chicken Cook. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, let's get the carving up. Peace. Skin could have been a little more crispier, but it's bite through. I think I'm going to take a piece of this breast over here just to see how good it turned out. So that's what I'm going to do. I tell you what, if juiciness, this thing is juicy and tender. So, mm. yeah, that's delicious. So, I think me and my kids and my family's gonna really enjoy these birds. Hey, Rick, over at me, uh, over at Meat Stall, thank you for doing the collaboration with me. Comment, subscribe, and holler at your boy TNT Barbecue. God bless you and God bless America. And let me see, can we pick up a little smoke rain? You can see that smoke how it penetrated his breast. So uh, I think it's a job well done, guys. And when you get tender breasts like that, and juices dripping out like that, though, when you get juices dripping out of that breast like that, though, do you know that's just a little piece of meat right there, so you know it's juicy. Alright, we out of here.